I'm Pennsylvania Senator Pat Toomey. These days, lots of Americans think members of Congress are out of touch. And you know, at times there's some truth to that. But there's at least one instance in which many members of Congress are feeling the very same pain that the rest of America is feeling. And that's with this new health care law. Now, I don't think anyone should be forced onto Obamacare. But as a senator, Obamacare forced me and my family onto an exchange for health coverage. Uh, just last week, my wife, Chris, tried to sign up on the health exchange website that's available to us. Now, my wife is a very sharp woman. She's a former computer software consultant. She's also an amazing person and a great mom, but that's another story. When Chris went onto the website, she typed in all our personal information and that of all our three children. And then when she tried to browse the various plans, the website denied her. She tried again, and it still didn't work. When she called someone and asked for help, she was told the system just wasn't working right now and it was best to try again later. Well, I tell you, I really wish this were a case of a member of Congress just out of touch. Unfortunately, it's not. The fiasco my wife just faced with the health care website is being experienced by Americans across the country when they try to sign up for health insurance. If this were just a matter of a slow-moving computer glitch, well, then maybe that would be excusable. But it's much more than that. It's been reported that perhaps as many as one-third of those who have been able to complete the online enrollment process might not actually have insurance coverage at all. Apparently, the enrollment information isn't always being transmitted to the insurers, and in a large number of cases. Can you imagine going to your doctor or to a hospital in January, only to find out you're not actually insured? Well, the president says his team is working out the kinks in the website. Now, I hope that's true. It sure seems like there's a long way to go. But let's assume that the website problems eventually get fixed. Sadly, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Before Obamacare became law, the president often told everyone that, and I quote, if you like the health insurance you have, you can keep it, period, end quote. Well, millions of Americans are now finding out that was never true. Fact is, Obamacare was designed to cancel many plans that people had and people liked. The president now admits as much. But this is creating excruciating choices. I recently heard from a woman from Westmoreland County, Pennsylvania. She has multiple sclerosis, has for years, and Obamacare kicked her off an insurance plan that had worked for her for many years. Yes, she can get a plan in the new health care exchange. In fact, it turns out there are two options available to her. One of the options would let her keep her doctor. The other would pay for her medication, and neither plan will do both. These are the kinds of painful and unfair choices millions of people now face. Now, if you have not yet been directly harmed by Obamacare, consider yourself fortunate. But take the time to listen to your friends, family, and neighbors. They'll tell you stories of lost coverage, higher costs, enrollment errors, not to mention lost jobs and fewer hours working. It's a disaster for our country, and it's only going to get worse. But this is the holiday season, and we should offer some hope and good cheer. And the truth is, there are good reasons for hope if we can just change direction. There are common sense, bipartisan solutions to our health care problems that don't require Obamacare's wholesale government takeover of the system. You know, in a nutshell, we can make insurance more accessible, more affordable, and more responsive to individuals and families, and put patients and their doctors in charge of health care decisions instead of politicians and government bureaucrats. We can help those with pre-existing conditions purchase affordable insurance. I'd like to give individuals the same tax benefits enjoyed by employers buying insurance for their employees. We can make it easier to carry health insurance from job to job or to purchase it across state lines. We can help small businesses pool together to get quality coverage for their workers at lower prices. We can rein in frivolous medical malpractice lawsuits that drive up medical costs for everyone. The problem with Obamacare isn't just a glitch. It's fundamental, and it's taking away our freedom. At the heart of the program is the idea that the government should decide your health coverage, what you require, and how much you should pay. Never mind what you want, what you need, and what you can afford. But working together, we can put an end to the dropped coverage and higher costs that the Obamacare law is forcing on so many. I think Americans should be free to choose the insurance coverage that's right for them. 
that choice should not be in the hands of the Obama administration or at the mercy of malfunctioning government websites. Thanks for listening, and Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy holiday season to everyone.